This is the easiest way to make your 808. In the last video, I showed you how to make all your sounds fit together right, and which keys to press. If you missed that, you can watch it right over here. In this video, I'm going to show you the only bass plugin that you will ever need, and it's called Sublab. Here I have a basic drill hat pattern. Add a snare. So let's add some chords and sounds before we work on that bass. That's a little vibe. Let's add a string. All right, let's make a basic melody. Now check this out. I'm going to just use the presets, but just know that you can make any 808 you want on here. You can just go to default, mess with these um, settings, shape your 808 however you want. Indefinite 808s. But we're just going to load up one of these presets. So the trick to the glides is simple. You come down here to the glide, turn on legato, then you can mess around with your timings here. I'll put it on 16th. Now you can come in here and change the distortion, add high cuts, low cuts, mess with the volume, filter, and pitch. The possibilities are endless. Now I'll go in there and sauce it up. Here you can see the bass notes and the chords at the same time and you can see that my bass notes pretty much follow my chords up here when i jumped up to the d here i'm jumping up to the d you don't have to but it sounds good when you do <laughs> So I'm going to modify that 808 a little bit so you can see the power of the sublab. I'm going to turn this fatness up. There you can see how I extend the glide a little bit. I'm gonna just turn this to a whole symphony. Let's add some cellos and some brass and some stuff. Yeah. Time for the kick. Bring down that bass. Listen to this. <laughs> 